how to make a hot and sour soup with uh, chicken and veggies instead of tofu and mushrooms because we don't like those. Step one, uh, put your six cups of chicken broth into your pot and let it simmer. Once your soup starts to simmer, you want to add a fourth cup of rice wine vinegar, a fourth cup of soy sauce, a tablespoon of hot sauce or sriracha sauce, and a teaspoon of pepper. Let it sit, mix it up, let it sit and simmer away for five minute, more minutes. In a small bowl, combine three tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. Combine until smooth and liquidy. After five minutes, you want to add your cornstarch slurry mixture to your sauce. Mix and simmer away for another five more minutes or until it becomes thick. After five minutes of letting your sauce uh, soup thicken up, you can add a bag of mixed frozen veggies and mix them up until they're till they're nice and soft. Um, you can also feel free free to add like um, onion powder, garlic powder, etc. Stuff like that. I've also added a package of Purdue Chicken Shortcuts. They are already cooked chicken. Uh, if you don't have these and you just want to use like a chicken breast, you have to cook it first. Boiled chicken tastes disgusting. Just mix it all up until everything's heated through. Enjoy. Enjoy. It's so good. I tried some already. How to make lasagna. First, you want to get a large pan, put some sauce at the bottom, and buy oven ready lasagna. If you don't have oven ready lasagna, you have to bake boil the, you know, cook the pasta first. But since I don't have to do that, I layered a few sheets. Now, I have some homemade sauce here, but it's not enough, so I'm also using um, Rayo's sauce as well. Also, I'm cooking a little bit more meat, because the meat, the meat sauce Dad made wasn't enough, so I, I'm cooking more. Uh, add, like, onions, garlic, any seasonings you'd like. Cook it till it's fully, till it's fully brown. Now that our ground beef is fully cooked, we're going to add our homemade sauce as well as our uh, store-bought sauce to let everything get all heated up and heated through. Now for this next part, I'm going to cheat a little because sometimes layering things can be a little te tedious. You want to take about 16 ounces of ricotta cheese and add it into big scoops. It could probably be like cut these in half, it could be a little smaller than that. Basically you want to stir it into the sauce, but really make sure there are still large clumps. Don't mix it in thoroughly. See how it's mixed in, but there are still large clumps? That's exactly what you want. Now we're going to begin our layering. Pick out your mozzarella cheese. Step one, get a large pan, spread some sauce on the bottom, and like I said before, if you're buying ready, you know, already ready lasagna, just layer your sheets. If you don't buy this specific kind, you have to cook the pasta first. What you want to do next is grab a good heaping spoonful and make one nice layer on top of your pasta. When you have your first layer, do a nice helping layer of mozzarella cheese on top. Now grab some more of your noodles and layer, you know, arrange another layer on top. Repeat the previous steps maybe two or three more times until you reach to the, the top of your pan. Or, you know, just get a second pan if you have more noodles and sauce and just keep going until you're right out of noodles and sauce and cheese. Why not? More the better. Hello, gorgeous layers. Now for the ending, you want to end with sauce and cheese on top. Now you want to bake this off at 450 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the top is nice golden and brown. This is also me getting a second smaller pan because I still have some sauce left. And noodles. Using cheddar though because I ran out of mozz. Let rest 10 minutes before serving and enjoy. How to make cabbage soup. First step, wash the cabbage thoroughly, cut off and throw away this part. 
Once you're done washing your cabbage, you want to break it up into roughly bite-sized pieces, maybe a little bigger, and add it to a large pot filled with water. Add some salt, some oil, and seasonings. Onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of red pepper flakes, whatever you'd like. Dice and chop up two to four raw potatoes and add those into the pot as well. Dice up and chop up some four to five cloves of garlic and add it to your pot. Roughly chop an onion and add that to your pot as well. Give your ingredients a mix. Mix thoroughly. Cover and boil for 30 minutes and then we will continue the rest of this recipe. Almost forgot to mention, feel free to add some raw pork or steak to the mixture as well if you'd like. Let it boil away. It'll cook on its own. After boiling the cabbage soup for 30 minutes, add one 15 ounce can of white beans. Give it a quick mix and turn your oven, uh, turn your stove on to low and boil. I mean, let it simmer for an, one and a half to two hours. Serve with hearty white bread and enjoy.